The rain came to a halt when I saw Robin. A group of grey-haired extremists yelled at strangers. God is here in Melbourne. God is here in Melbourne. Promising to read until the Bible ended. Are you excited for today? Robin asked, looking like he's looking for something between my brows. Fuck yeah, I replied. Let's set fire to the street. Robin didn't reply. He didn't need to. The look was enough, as if he knew something mad was about to begin. All gas, no brakes. Fueled on the eternal flame of madness and comradity, we didn't know what or where we have to go to find this something, but we just knew it was stirring. Somewhere. The more time I spend with Robin running down the street with a notebook, the closer my reality comes to finding a friend of pure and hindered fire in their eyes. The kind of fire that burns out the cold the world too often creates. A fiend, a reject, a madman of a heart of gold, who wants to burn, who doesn't say no or will do it tomorrow, a friend any writer needs to get them to write now. I wanted to make this video to explain why making friends with a group of firecrackers, outcasts, people who just want to be themselves, is so important if we want to create something bigger, because this romanticised idea of pure art coming only from writing alone, depressed, in some dark room drunk on coffee, liquor or dope, is the ultimate way to create a masterpiece. It's complete, utter bullshit, because it ain't the only way. I believe you've got to live before you write, if you want to write well. So, surrounding yourself with new ideas, people and strange encounters is healthy. We live in a modern age, as you know, constantly told what is right, what is wrong. Nothing is ever in the middle. Writing is topical, trendy, relevant about the times, full of hate. Because if it's not, it won't get to the explore page on Instagram or some publisher's rented key. This is why friends with hearts of fire are so important to the development of a new age. A change. Let's free our spirits and write what we want to write. And if you want people to read it, bring it to them, out on the street. Don't wait for some lucky break that might never come because I believe it's time to create a change and we should start creating together in a madness pack frenzy. To read my street writing, feel free to give me a follow on Instagram. Have a wicked day.